Hey guys, welcome everyone. Good afternoon, teacher. Hey, Walter. Let's see, we will wait a few more seconds for the rest to join. Good afternoon. Hi, Rebecca. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. guys. Hey, Aleida. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, Fernanda. Good evening, teacher and guys. Let's see. So how's how's your day going? Let's see, Aleida. So how was your day today? Mm, well, hello. Uh, my day is normally with other days, but uh, today I in my work. Mm -hmm. Today I I my baby very boring because uh, my job uh, was very very. ¿Cómo se dice? Restado. Very se, what, I'm sorry? Disminuyó. Ah, ok, so you didn't have that much work to do today. Ah, my work to do today, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but I dedicated uh, to, to teach at... at Morning at, at person. <clears throat> For entertaining me. Ah, okay. So you had to teach somebody else how to do something. Um, some, uh, uh, always, always I teach uh, at personal. But uh, sometimes uh, my my job it comprehends in only uh, only reticket reticket uh, the the price. Mm -hmm. The money go by to pay uh, the personal. For example, uh, incentives. Incentives. Okay. Um, my chart. My chart is is this uh, control of the incentives. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you take control of the incentives that people receive. Yes. Okay. Uh, and today uh, is is the or pay or that is they or oh, is is relaxed for me because yesterday and um the last the net last week mm -hmm. the, um, i do i did i did so ah okay mm -hmm. i imagine yes yeah, so the days before payday you were doing a lot of things working on the part of the incentives and now that it's payday, it was, you know, quiet day, let's say. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, good day. Good then. Thank you, Leida, for sharing. Let okay. me check on the rest. Let's see. What about, let's see. What about you, Pablo? How's everything going today? Let's see, probably Pablo got disconnected. Let me ask Erika, what about you? How's everything going today? Mm, today, in the morning, I was, I had a meeting with my boss. Then I took the, the lunch. And after that, I cleaned my house and I started to work. And then I, I ate um, 
the lounge. And then I continue working. And now I am my English class. Okay. Great. Then a lot of activities that you had to do today. Okay, cool. Thank you, Erika. Let's see. Now that I see more people joining, let's see. Eileen says that she's on the way on the way home okay so we're gonna give the rest a couple more minutes so we will start with the role plays that we had pending from from last night okay let's see let me ask let's see madeline so madeline what do you remember what did we talk about yesterday uh, yesterday i remember the talk about the time expression first and the structure um and the structure have to is subject plus adverb plus main verb this and then we working in the in groups and mm -hmm. talk about the time expressions and the activities and that's all that's mm -hmm. all Okay, cool. Yeah, so uh, at the beginning, we started off with the, with the time expressions, right? Uh, like in, on, before, after. Uh, we clarified a few doubts or a few questions that you had. And then we moved on to the part of, a, of basically checking on how often we do certain activities, right? how often we do them and you were getting ready with a, a, with a role play that we will go over tonight in a few minutes. Let's see, let me ask Rebecca. So talking about the structure, can you give us an example of maybe one or two activities that maybe you always never or sometimes do depending on what you do on a weekly or daily basis? Okay, um, my example can be, I always sing in my church. Okay, you always sing in the church. Okay, is it every day or every week? Every week. Every week, okay, great, thank you. Let's see, that's to remember a little, right, of what we are going to talk about. Let's see, Hami, what about you? Can you mention one or two activities, Hami, that you probably never sometimes rarely or always do i never play soccer okay you never play soccer great good example let's see thank you hami paul what about you hi teacher hi, uh, can you repeat the question please oh uh, yeah sure uh, if you can mention any type of activity that you either sometimes always or never do. No. okay for example i always play video game at night mm -hmm. and seldom i read a book or something like that at, at night mm -hmm. and let me see i usually take out the garbage around 6 30 when the a uh, garbage truck passed in front of my house. Mm -hmm. And okay. well, I always wake up around six or maybe six thirty a.m. Yeah. And I'm always drink a uh, three or four cup of coffee during the day. Okay, three or four cups of coffee. That's a lot of coffee. Yeah. Okay. No, oh, no, it's enough. It's uh, enough. So it is never enough right it's never enough. <laughs> it is never enough okay great thank you thank you very much paul so those are some samples right of some of the activities that we always sometimes or rarely do depending on the type of activity that we're talking about okay great guys so now we are going to move on and we will start just for you guys to have an uh, an idea about what we're going to be doing Tonight, uh, well, number one, we'll start with the role plays we had pending. 
And then we're going to move on with a few things that we have a uh, pending from grammar uh, from last class or from the unit number three. And then we're going to move on to the unit number four to talk about countries, nationalities, uh, describing places. So get ready because we will have an activity to talk about places that you would like to travel to uh, that probably you, you may find interesting because of culture and so on. So just to check in general, for example, uh, Edwin, can you mention a country or city that you would be uh, interested in visiting in the future? Maybe New York. Okay, New York. Why New York? I would like to travel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but why New York? What do you like from that city? Uh, can you repeat, please? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, why New York? Uh, what do you like about the city? Is it the culture, the buildings, the people? The food. The food, okay. The food. Okay, great. That That's a great answer. The food, right? One of the most important yeah. items from a city or country, okay? Great. Let's see what about if I ask Walter, what about you, Walter, a city or country that you would like to visit in the future? I like visit Antigua, Guatemala. Okay, so what do you like about Antigua? The city. Okay, so the city in general. It's colonial. Ah, yeah, yeah, it is. It is a colonial city, a little old, but beautiful, right? Yes. It's a beautiful city. Do you guys remember the name of the volcano that is in uh, Guatemala City? Is it the Volcán de Fuego? I don't remember. Okay. I, I, I don't remember. Yeah, the fire volcano, right? I don't really remember, but it's enormous. It, it's huge, right? Not like the ones that we have here. Okay. Cool, then. <laughs> cool then let's see so now we are going to move on so let's see if you guys remember we were pending with the groups so we will start with the group number one where we had let's see Aleida, Jacqueline, Nilsson, Jose and Pablo so we will start with the role play that you created as a group okay Okay, let's see. Guys. Hi, we are ready. I'm ready. And Jackie. Um, teacher, uh, Jose Edgardo yesterday no connect. Ah, okay. It's okay. You can do only your part. No problem at all. Okay. okay. Let's start. Uh, Jackie, are you there? Yes, yes, I like that. I'm here. Okay. okay. Jackie, how often do you go running? I never go running. Um, and what do you do? I like watch the series. Pablo, do you like go running? Yes, I like go running. Usually, I go running two times a week. Good, Pablo. Very good. You are very healthy. Jackie. Aleida, what, can, what kind of activity do you like to do? I like go to running, but I can't because I work every day. Um. Yes. Maybe oh, somebody else can do the part for Jose. Hello, teacher. Ah, yes. Oh, there, yeah, there we yeah. have Jose. Go ahead. Jose, how often do you play soccer? 
I just remember I saw Karen on Saturday and uh, my first in the afternoon. Okay. Jackie, how often do you go to the beach? I usually go to the beach twice a week with my family. Really, Jackie? I hardly ever go to the beach, but I would like to go more of more often. Guys, you are very excellent. I would like to be like yours. Okay, good guys. Thank you very much to the group number one. Just be careful with some of the words that are misspelled, like running in the first part. And also watch would be like this when you talk about watch series. So the spelling would be like this, right? Watch series. The it's without the H, right? Uh, in in the word watch, it is W A T C H, and also let me see one of the usuallys. I remember that one of the usuallys was misspelled. Usually the. Let me see how often. Ah, yeah, Jose. How often do you play soccer? I usually. It also has an extra A, just be careful with the spelling. And in the last part, instead of saying you are very exciting, what you can say is that probably your life, your lifestyles are very exciting, right? Or the activities that you do are exciting. Uh, this? Yeah. yeah, instead of you are exciting, it could be probably the activities you do are exciting. And here, I don't understand. Uh, let me see. Yeah, exactly. In that part, instead of saying, guys, you are exciting, you can say uh, probably, guys, uh, the activities you do are exciting, right? Because ah. they are talking about the different activities. Okay. But overall, great job. Thank you very, very much for going over this. Okay. 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 Thank, you. Thank you, guys. Let's see. The group number two was from Kevin, Dianara, Martha, Erica, and Walter. Probably can I share my screen? Yes, yes, you can. And if there's somebody missing, then somebody else can take the part from that person, okay? Okay. Hello. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes, we can. Okay, so Walter, can you start, please? Okay. How often do you wash the dishes? Dianara is not here. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so maybe somebody else can take the part from Dianara. I always, I always wash the dishes in my house. What about you, Marta? What do you usually do in the morning? Usually pray in the morning. What about you, Erika? What do you sometimes do in the, in the evening? I always take my English class in the evening. And after that, I usually cook dinner for my family. What do you do? No, I'm sorry. What do you usually do, Walter, after your English class? I always eat the dinner. How often do you eat egg, Erica? I often eat eggs in the morning. What about you, Dayanara? Do you like to eat eggs in the morning or what do you prefer to eat? I, Marta. I sell them. I seldom eat eggs in the morning. I prefer to eat cereal. Um, Erica? Mate, do you always have your breakfast? 
every single day I have at my breakfast. Walter, how often do you exercise? No listen, Walter. Hey, let's see, Walter, right now you're muted. Remember to have the microphones open, only the ones that are speaking right now. Sorry, it is raining. Oh, okay. Only that part, it's okay. Only the last part. Okay. Um. <clears throat> How often do you exercise? I normally do exercises every day in the in the afternoon. Wow, Walter, you are my hero. I never do exercise. What about you, Marta? I I occasionally do exercise in the morning. What about you, Dayanara? I rarely do exercise. That's it. Okay, cool guys. Thank you very much. So very good use of the of the frequency adverbs. Okay. Cool. Thank you very much. I don't have any feedback from, from my side. Great. So now you may stop sharing and we'll move on with the with the group number three. Just a quick reminder, remember that it's raining everywhere right now. So if you're not speaking or participating in the activity, make sure that you are muted, okay? Because if not, we get the background from the noise, from the rain and some others, okay? Let's see, good. Now let's see, group three, we had Edwin, Hami, Rebecca, Daniel, and Carla. Okay, give me a moment. Okay. Can you see? Yes, yes, yes we can see it. Okay, help me. Okay, hi guys. You know what? I feel tired today. Why? What do you do? I went to the gym and I did a hard workout. How often do you exercise, Carla? I sometimes go to the gym. I never go to the gym. I prefer to walk every morning. Oh, really? I hardly ever go to the gym. Carla, do you prefer go to the gym or swimming? I prefer swimming. What about you, Daniel? I go swimming on the weekends only. Okay. Cool, guys. Great job. So some of you likes to work out and some others prefer Swimming instead, okay. Thank you. Now you may stop sharing. So that was for group three. Then group four, we have Oneida, Sara, Freddy, Fernanda, Brenda, and Guadalupe. So when you're ready, we are all ears. Good evening, everyone. This dialogue uh, was based in fictitious fictions uh facts okay <laughs> okay uh we start um hi fernanda i plan go to the gym in the morning would you like to go with me it's a great idea but i never been to the gym okay no problem but freddy could go with us i heard that freddy hardly ever can go to the gym because he work all day. I look there. He come now. Hi, girls. How are you? I'm fine, but I need to ask you 
if you can go to the gym in the morning with us. Sorry, I work all day. I occasionally go to the gym at night, but Sarah and Oneida generally go to generally, the morning. Generally, uh -huh. generally go go in the morning. To the next day to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sarah and Maria. What are you go training today? I usually do train leg, legs on Monday, chest and arm on Tuesday with Maria. On Fridays, I train shoulders and abs on. Maria, you are here. Let's mm, I'm not sure if she's here. If not, maybe somebody else can take her part. Okay. Uh -huh. I can. Okay. Okay. Maria says, uh, we can help you only three days a week if you want, because I usually go to jogging the other days. Okay. Thank you. I train with Brenda and Fernanda the other days. Okay, cool. Great, guys. And that is an actual picture of you at the gym. Yes. Uh -huh. that's, why you, that's why you were saying this is it's based fake. On... <laughs> A lot of fake. Okay, no worries. But good job. So now talking about the gym, I see that many of you are talking about swimming, training, working out. Does anybody here go to the gym? I go to the gym on Friday. On Fridays, uh huh. No, um, in Friday. Ah, okay. In Friday, okay. I'm going to class two teaching. I'm sorry. I'm going to. I am going to to gym after class two. Ah, okay, good. Yeah, if you do it to keep yourselves healthy, then that's a great option. That's a great option. Okay, cool, guys. Great. If you do go to the gym or do any other type of physical activity, then that's great. To keep ourselves busy and, you know, relax a little. It depends on how you deal with, with stress, right? For example, if I ask, a, let's see, Jonathan, for example, a, how do you deal with, with stress? If you are tired or stressed, what do you do to, you know, to shake the stress away, to relax? Uh, okay, hello, hello everybody. Uh, I, I can go to the gym because uh, I don't have uh, any gym shirt uh, clothes uh -huh. from my house. But uh, I do exercise in my house and um, maybe uh, like three times a week. And uh, I go to play soccer too. So I try to keep uh, doing some, some exercise. And okay. that's what I do with it. With it okay, excellent then. Thank you. Let's see, what about, I'll ask, let's see, someone who has not participated yet. Maybe I'm going to ask Diana. What about you, Diana? So what do you do in your time off? Uh, you don't have to study. You don't have to work. And it's just time for you to relax. So what type of activities do you do? Good evening. Good evening. Uh... I painting or watch series or or movie with my sister. Okay, what kind of movies or series are you into? I see documentaries and okay. and Disney movies. Okay, great. Fair enough, then. Thank you very much for sharing. Okay, 
Cool guys, excellent. Thank you very much for going over this. So this was the part that we had pending. Uh, we still have, yeah, we still have a group. I'm sorry, we still have the group number six. Uh, let's see, Gabriela wouldn't be able to join us tonight. She had an emergency, but we have Nestor, Jennifer, Ursula, and Maricela. Teacher, group yes. number five. Am I missing group number five? Yeah. Ah, yeah, I'm sorry, my bad. Yeah, so group <laughs> number five was uh, for Marilyn, Eileen, uh, Jonathan, Paul, and Leslie. My bad, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> it's everyone here? Group number five? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Well, today yes. I'm gonna be your teacher. <laughs> And I'm gonna ask you how often do you do some something or some anything. So Leslie, where are you? Yes. Where are you, Leslie? So Leslie, how often do you go to the to eat fast food? Fast food. Um well I, I don't usually eat a lot of fast food. But I love fast food in finally. <laughs> okay. And how often uh, you go to the shopping? Um, well, I don't, well um, sometimes I go, I go shopping at the mall. Okay. And what about, what about you, Jonathan? Are you here? Jonathan? Yeah. How often do you drink Coca-Cola? Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, I uh, definitely well, drink a lot uh, every day. Uh, in the other uh, I like Coca Cola. I like. Okay, what about the coffee? How often do you drink coffee? Uh, coffee. Uh, I never drink coffee because uh, I have a. When I when I drink coffee, I have a, a, a some anxiety, so I don't drink coffee. At least, uh, if, if uh, maybe if a uh, coffee, the cup coffee. Oh, okay, for the caffeine. Yes, for the second. Okay. And Eileen, are you here? Yes. How often do you eat pupusas? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I hardly ever eat pupusas because I don't like the pupusas. Cancelada, um, cancelada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not Salvadorian. <laughs> Yeah, I just she, I don't like she's it. Going, she's going she's she's getting deported. <laughs> she's from Abdura. <laughs> <No. laughs> and what about Mexican food? How often do you eat it? I love Mexican food and I usually uh, buy different kind of Mexican food on a weekend, especially on Saturdays at night, because uh I consider it so delicious. For example, I like to eat tacos and burritos. Uh, but yes, I usually on on weekends. Oh, okay, that's nice. And well, in my case, I always um drink coffee. For example, two or three or four, maybe five cup of during the day. And with this weather, I always drink coffee. And about the pupusas, I eat pupusas around usually four or five times a week. That's all, teacher. Okay. Good, guys. Thank you very much for going over this. Okay. And don't worry, you're not going to get deported for not, for not eating she enough pupusas. She, she loves Mexican food, but hates pupusas. So but hates that's pupusas. Mm -hmm. 
He also like the corrido. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, great. Team number five, and we're gonna move on with the last one. A team number six, where we had Gabriela, Nestor, Jennifer, Ursula, and Maricela. Hi, good evening. Uh, okay, give me a second. Um, okay. Can you see the screen, guys? Yes. Yes. Mm, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start. Okay. Um, Nestor, are you here? Nestor. Nestor. Yeah. Yeah, maybe somebody else can take the part for Nestor. Uh, I can be teaching you. Oh, okay. If if the group doesn't mind, go ahead. You can help us, Pablo. Yes, yes. Okay. Um hi Pablo. Uh, uh, what do you do on weekends? I usually work on Saturday and Sunday until noon. Then I rarely go to my sister and always go to church in the afternoons. Okay, you ask uh, Maricela. Uh, yes. Uh, what do you usually do on Saturday afternoon, Maricela? I usually get up late. I need to listen to music on Spotify. Sometimes I go out with my friends to eat ice cream. What do you do on Saturday, Jennifer? Mm, let me see if Jennifer's here. She's not here. Uh, no, she's not here. Maybe somebody else can take her part. Maybe somebody else Hi. from the same group. Me. And I always get up late, have a have breakfast at lunch, and sometimes go out in the evening. And what about you do on Saturday afternoons, Gabriela? Gabriela. Not here. No. We no. Usually... Oh my God. <laughs> Brenda, can you help us? Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, Gabriela, for what park? Is we usually go to the park. Okay. We usually go to the park uh, with my family, and we always eat pupusa for the dinner. And you ask me. Um. What do you do in Sunday? Uh, on Sunday, Sunday afternoon. Okay, thanks. Sometimes we go out with my family to eat tacos and we shall don't drink ice coffee. And that's all. Thank you. Thank okay. you, guys. Thank Great. you, Paolo. Thank, Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, then. Welcome. So seldom drink okay. ice coffee. Okay, cool. So when you talk about ice coffee, which one do you like? Um, maybe the rustic coffee. Oh, okay. The name, the rustic or mm, the Starbucks. Or Starbucks, okay. Yeah, it depends what you have available, right? Usually the coffee from Starbucks is a little expensive, but depending on how often you drink it, it's a good the option. Promo. La promo. Mm -hmm. The promos <laughs> on Thursdays, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay, great, guys. Excellent job on this part. Remember that uh, that is the main objective, that every type of topic that we learn, that we take it and we practice it, right? Okay, cool. Um, now we're going to move on. Just let me remember a little the part in the platform, did we finish the unit number three? 
just checking with everybody because I remember that we got to the time expressions here. Did we cover up to the how often before unit number four? Or up to where have you completed so far? In my case, no teacher. Okay. Thank if, you. Okay, if not, because if I'm not mistaken, we got, let me see, was it this part? We got to this part. Is this the part where we left off? And we are still missing a few things. If I'm not mistaken, from 3.2.2, uh, there are a few exercises. Oops, I'm not gonna share the, <laughs> I'm not gonna share the answers, but we are going to go, uh, they are short exercises from 3.2.2 all the way to uh, how often, right? So they are similar things to what we have been talking about. We will just go over the and finish this part of unit number three in groups before we move on to the next discussion about, I mean, in unit four, that is about traveling, about favorite countries. We'll discuss a place that you would like to visit in the future. So stay tuned for that because probably we will have a, a group and an individual speaking activity for that part. But for now, we are going to finish that part in groups that we are still pending to cover in the platform from unit number three, okay? So is it clear about what we need to complete, guys? Yes. Okay, Alrighty then. Let me quickly open up the groups and let's take advantage and complete that part in the platform right now so we practice, okay? Uh, let's see, there we go. Please accept the invite. Thank you. Sure. Let's see, Pablo, did you get the invite? Uh, no, uh, it's up here. Ah, okay. I I'm, room four. Okay, I'm going to move you. I'm going to move you to room five and then once again to room four, okay? Okay, perfect. Did you get it now?
uh, sort of sort of South America in general. Chile. In Chile is sometimes uh, uh, there there is snow. Yes, in the winter. Uh, have um, nieve. Yes. Yes. No, not is necessary to uh, go to the United States. Mm, yes, but but for the language. Before he before goes he home, goes he home. will finish his work before, before he, he goes, goes home. home. Yeah. And the seven is he has come to the coins until before before, before two. Before. He puts yes. it on uh, in the box. Okay. Before selling the number seven. Oh, before yes. He went out to play. After. 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 After he did his homework. Yes, 100%. And just... You continue. Okay. When we finish the time, stop it. We'll... Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay, you, the, you, the, memorize, the... Uh, you memorize the percentage. Okay. In this board, um, I I think I screenshot in my cell phone. Yeah, because it's a uh, only question that is contained that. Acá le tengo. Okay. Okay. Uh, nya, 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 nya. creo que esto ya lo hicimos. I think. In the other class, yes, we work in this part. Yeah. And always is one hundred percent. Um, never is zero percent. Zero zero percent. Uh, of them is seventy percent. That's uh, not usually ninety percent. Ninety percent. I oh usually usually. <laughs> 90%. Uh, sometimes mm -hmm. is 50. And shield on it's 20%. Okay. Yeah. Yay. Um, okay. Sometimes sixty percent. Usually ninety percent. Sometimes well, always one hundred. Sometimes sixty percent. Mm. Often, Tell them it's twenty percent. Often is seven percent. Incorrect. Often it is seven percent, seven. 
This? Yes. Sometimes fixing. Usually, like. What is <laughs> Teacher, we finish. Okay, excellent. If you have finished already, so let's wait. Uh, yeah, the exam, don't do it right now. Uh, and I'll bring you back in about two or three minutes. So I just need to check on the other groups, okay? Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you.
Let's see. Let's wait for everyone. Teacher, did you did you take the screen? Uh, no, I haven't. We're we're going to take it right now. We're going to take it right now. Thank you for reminding me. We got excited with the travel related things. <laughs> But let's see. I'm just going to wait for everyone to go back. Is it raining where you guys live? In a popita, it... yes, it's raining. Mm -hmm. A little bit. A little? Yeah, it's raining. It's, it's been a little cold. I mean, colder than usual because of all the rain, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now we should have everyone back. Before we forget, yeah, but but it's been raining here. I live in Opico, but it's been raining. It's been raining yes. since early in the morning. Drizzles. I live in Opico. You do live in in Opico yes. too, so we're close, Aleida. <laughs> what? We are close. I mean, if you yes. live in Pico and uh, I live in Pico, very uh, close. I live, in, I live in Ciudad Versailles. Ciudad Versailles is in, in Pico. Ah, yeah. So I I live in Marseille. So it's very close. You live in Marseille? Yeah, very close. I mean, it is just like. It's in, near here. By yeah. car, it's like three minutes away, three, four minutes. Oh. Mm -hmm. But here is not running. It's so. A it's little. just a light drizzle, let's say. It's some sort of light drizzle. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a springing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember who once said springing, but no, it's not springing, right? It's <laughs> it's drizzle. Okay, cool. Guys. I'm, uh -huh. I'm going to take the first screenshot. Let's see. In a popita, then Ursula says in a popita. <laughs> yeah, obviously. I uh -huh. love in a popita. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see October 31st today. So Halloween in many people, in many <laughs> people in many places. I know celebrate these days. Yeah, I mean many people don't celebrate it. Look at Diana, the background she has from the from the clown. I don't remember who said that I was afraid of that clown, but anyways, let me grab the screenshot, guys. So everyone smile to the camera right now. Let's see, three, two, one. Okay. Tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Ah, oh, yeah, tomorrow we still have classes. On Thursday is that we don't have classes. I will remind you tomorrow just in case, okay? Let me take the second screenshot, smile. Already then, thank you very much. Okay, now that we have completed the unit number three, that it was, you know, very general, related about how often we do certain activities, eh, how often you go to the gym, you go swimming, and some others. Now we're going to move on to the next unit, number four. I will let you know when we're going to take the exam. Maybe tomorrow we can take some time to take the exam okay but I will let you know but for now we were going to talk about traveling right so if you guys remember we usually uh, have listening exercises do you remember what is the main objective of you know having listening exercises let's see let me ask Pablo so what is the main objective Pablo of having listening exercises uh, what kind of exercise do you do? Uh, listening, listening oh, exercises. Uh, yes, uh, to, uh, I don't know how to say, uh, improve to listen. Uh, I don't know how to say, it, uh, but to improve our listening. Yeah, to improve your listening. A, a comprehension, a compre, compre, comprehension. Comprehension. Okay. Yeah. 
to enhance or to improve your listening comprehension, okay? And since we are talking about something related to travel, we'll see what we get, okay? We'll see what we get. Let me see, I'm going to share. Right now, I'm just going to share my computer sound, okay? So just pay attention to keywords. This is a great opportunity to enhance your listening skills and that you only get the keywords, right? You don't have to understand every single uh, word, but instead you just get general ideas, right? Very general ideas of what the people are talking about. So I'm going to play this and let me know if you get it. Remember right now, we just need to listen I'm going to mute everyone so we don't get any, any background noise. And let me know if you guys get this. Let me see now. Did you guys get that? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. excellent. Yeah. So I'm going to mute everyone to make sure that we don't have any distractions. And I'm going to play the first time. After we listen to this the first time, then I'm going to share the poll so we can answer the questions. Okay, here we go. Which train do I need to get on? Excuse me, do you need any help? Yes, I want to go to Tokyo Tower, but I'm really lost. This is my first visit to Japan, so I have no idea on how to ride the trains. First, you need to buy a ticket to your destination. Mm -hmm. From here, it's 130 yen. 130 yen, okay. Then, Get on the Hibiya subway line at platform number four. Number four, all right. Oh, and how often do the trains come around this time of day? Usually, they come about every six minutes or so. All right, and where do I get off the train? Get off at Kamiya Cho Station, three stops from here. The sign at the station is written in English, so you'll be able to read it. Three stops, got it. Thanks for your help. No problem, good luck. Okay. Great, now let me ask you very general ideas. What is the man talking about? What are they doing? Let's mm. see. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Pablo. Oh, yes, uh, Tori is uh, in Japan for the first time. He was asking for the train and the, and the time of schedule of train okay okay cool so first time in japan right last time we were talking about going to japan it would be a great option to go to japan one of my friends went to japan she speaks a little japanese because there people will not talk to you back in english right either you speak japanese or you speak japanese right <laughs> otherwise you're gonna be lost and nobody would help you. Okay, good. Let's see. Now I'm going to give you a few seconds to read the, the poll, right? Okay, can you guys see the questions? Yes. I yes. 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 Okay, I'm going to give you 20 seconds to go over the questions, and then I'm going to play it once again, okay? Teacher, eh, en una de las preguntas eh, solo aparece choice one and choice two. Ah, let's see. Don't answer it yet, okay? <laughs> eh, <laughs> number three. Ah, yeah. So number, hold on. Hold on. Eh, the, it got duplicated. Hold on. I'm going to add a new one. Hold on, give me a second. The thing is that that got duplicated for a reason. I'm just going to delete it, okay? And, okay, here we go. Okay. 
Give me a second. Okay, now I have deleted it. Let's see, one, two. This number three is the one that needs to be deleted. Hold on. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. The old one, I'm going to delete it. Okay, now I'm going to relaunch it. Can you guys check right now? Yes. Okay, yes. so I'm going to give you about 10 seconds to quickly read it. And then I'm going to play it once again to, you know, so we can see how we are doing. Um, teacher. Oh, no, uh -huh. no, no, nothing. Sorry. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, remember, you don't have to answer right now because I see that some people are already submitting, but you don't have to answer right now. Just read them. And now I'm going to play it once again. Okay, okay. let me play the conversation once again. And after we finish listening to this, then you may go ahead and submit the answers. There you go. Let me see now. Which train do I need to get on? Excuse me, do you need any help? Yes, I want to go to Tokyo Tower, but I'm really lost. This is my first visit to Japan, so I have no idea on how to ride the trains. First, you need to buy a ticket to your destination. Mm -hmm. From here, it's 130 yen. 130 yen. Okay. Then, get on the Hibiya subway line at platform number four. Number four. All right. Oh, and how often do the trains come around this time of day? Usually, they come about every six minutes or so. All right. And where do I get off the train? Get off at Kamiya Cho Station, three stops from here. The sign at the station is written in English, so you'll be able to read it. Three stops. Got it. Thanks for your help. No problem. Good luck. Okay, now you may go ahead and answer the questions and submit the answers. Teacher, in the last question, uh, I think it's confused because I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that one is a little confusing, right? Only the end of the word change is what you can. We need to learn Japanese. Kamiyaga. Kamigaya. <laughs> yeah, you need Kami to learn Sabi. Japanese. Sabi Sabi. Are similar to the phrase. The last one, don't mind it because, you know, the, the name is in Japanese. So, I mean, it may sound a little weird. Okay. Yes, I look at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's see. I have 20 out of 26 people. In one minute, I'm going to close the poll and we'll see. So how did you guys feel it? Was it easy, medium, difficult? Medium. Easy, easy medium. medium. Yeah. Medium. Medium for me. Easy, bro. Medium. Medium for me. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, <laughs> right? Piece of cake. Well, because... the good thing is that nobody nobody found it difficult. Uh, let's see, Jose. 
in case if you can see the questions, uh, go to the three dots. And then there is an option that says polls if you have it in English and if you have it in Spanish, encuestas. Okay, cool. I'm going to close it right now and we'll see what might be the possible answers. Uh, let me see. Okay, number one, maybe Martha can help us. So let me share the results. Okay. So Martha, what do you think? Uh, where does the man want to go? Where did he say that he wanted to go? He said, I, I don't understand. Ah, okay, uh, yeah. Number one. <laughs> uh, yeah, in number one, can you see the results, guys, of the survey? Yes, yes. yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> Uh, now, Martha, what you need to do is just to tell me which one you think that is the the correct answer. If he wanted to go the, to the museum, the subway, or the tower. So, what do you think? Um, tower. Okay, the mm -hmm. tower. Let's see. Do you guys agree with the fact that he wanted to go to the tower? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. 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 Okay, yes. yeah. Tokyo Tower. He mentioned that he wanted to go to the Tokyo Tower. Okay. Let's see number two. What about the fare for the train? Let's see, Ricardo. Uh, what do you have for the for the fare? So how much does he need to pay for the for the train? Uh, 130 yen. Okay. What about the rest? Do you guys agree? Do you have 130 yen? Yes, I agree. Yes, yes, I agree. Yes, yes, I agree. yes, I agree. Yeah, 130 yen. Okay, great. Yen is the currency. Do you guys know what the currency is? Moneda. Uh huh. Here the or money. currency, US dollar. In Japan, yens, right? Okay. In Guatemala, quetzales. In Costa Rica, what's the currency in Costa Rica? Colon. The, Colon. the Colon, right? The Costa Rican Colon and so on. So that is the currency, okay? Let's see the next one, maybe Jacqueline. So what was the platform? Do you, do you remember what was the platform? Uh, the platform number four. Okay. Great. Do you guys agree with that part? So was it the platform number four? Yep. Yes. 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 Exactly. See the results. Most yes. of you got it right. Excellent. Uh, this one. <laughs> Let's see number four. Uh, number, number four. Let's see. Maybe Freddy can help us. Uh, so, what do you have, Freddy? Was it every seven, six, or every five minutes? Uh, okay. I select about every six minutes. Okay, what about the rest? Do you guys agree? Was it about every six minutes? Yes, yes, yes I agree. agree. Already then. And the last one, if you didn't, didn't understand it, it's okay because it's like if you don't speak Japanese, okay, it's okay. So, and we have a 50 50 with the Kamiyama <laughs> and the Kamigaya station. So, that one, don't mind it, okay? I'll give you a waiver for that. Uh, but uh, overall, let's see, we had a 92% of participation. And in most of the answers in the first one, uh, the museum and the stadium, because you did it before I told you to answer the, the poll, right? But in the upcoming questions from two to five, uh, most of you had an accurate answer. Okay, the last one, don't worry. We didn't know if it was Kamiyama, Kamiyawa, Kam Kamisama or something like that. So don't mind it, okay? <laughs> don't mind it. First, so I guess. Uh -huh. so if you didn't get it correct, it's okay. Great. Teacher, teacher, a question. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Two, uh, fair, what is that? Fair? Uh, I understand the context, but uh, it's the first time that I see ah. this. Okay, the fares are set prices that either 
airlines, train companies, buses, hotels have, okay? So the fare, eh, it's a formal way of saying the price, okay? Ah, okay. The price. Okay. For example, okay. eh, an airline, most likely they use fares, right? Hey, what's the fare to go to eh, Madrid next week, right? On United Airlines, on TACA Airlines. Well, not TACA, now it's Avianca, right? <laughs> so those are the fares, right? For example, here for the buses, we have fares. Eh, Around how much is the fare, guys, if you want to go by bus from El Salvador to Guatemala? Do you know the prices? 40. Oh, 60. Depending on. 16. For the bus is $15. 15. dollars Yes. Is, is it 50 or 60? 16. Oh, 15. Ah. Ah. When I charge to what to Guatemala, depend the bus. It was cost. Ah, uh, okay. Just mm -hmm. I want to understand something because depend the line bus. I'm getting mixed answers here. So is it fifteen or fifteen or fifty dollars? Fifteen in the bus, but uh, in the soul. 20. It's ah, okay. like 22. And in, in Tikabus is around $35. Mm -hmm. It's the okay. line bus. Okay. The poor, the poor travel in the mass. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, so you see, you, you, you guys travel a lot. Yeah, so it depends. But those are the fares, okay? okay. The first sort of the prices that, by the way, uh, Airbnbs here in El Salvador are really expensive. <laughs> yes. They are really expensive. But anyways, that's another topic. Probably we're going to talk about that tomorrow when we talk about the about the traveling part. But before we move on to the traveling part, because this is the introduction about this guy in Tokyo, eh, we are going to discuss these questions that I'm going to share right now. Because tomorrow... I'm going to randomly select a victim, oh, I'm sorry, a volunteer to go ahead and explain to us a little about these questions that we will quickly discuss here. Uh, let me see. Can you guys check if you can open the link that I just sent? Yes. Okay. Yes, sure. Okay, so we're going to take a few minutes that we have left because tomorrow get ready because we will be talking about traveling. So get ready to talk about your favorite destination, city, country, continent, eh, what you like about that place because that's what we will be talking about. But now in these minutes that we have left, we're going to take some minutes to discuss these questions about traveling so let's see how much you guys are into traveling so let me sure. quickly uh-huh go ahead this topic will be so useful for me around at the around january ah okay because... are, are you planning to travel no the last january ah, okay. i took an interview to work in the airport mm -hmm. and well and they start with the in, in english the the interview and they start with a question about airplanes, the airport, how do you say, one-way ticket, in a row ticket, and, mm -hmm. and many questions about that. And I feel that kind of shocking because I didn't know mm -hmm. some so, of the, the language. Uh -huh. Some of the vocabulary, yeah, the vocabulary. The vocabulary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have worked in a travel agency Mama. for about, for about Mama, 12 Mama. years. So I'm a, little, I'm, a, I'm a little familiar with the vocabulary. I can share some links so you can study the vocabulary. Okay. Thank you because mm -hmm. uh, they told me that I can 
send my resume again the, in the last three months of the year. So maybe I get another opportunity. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely. Why not? Right? Why, yeah, not? why not? Okay. Yeah, I'll share the links with the vocabulary. Okay. Great. Then uh, let me quickly open the group and I will give you about five minutes to go over this so we get a little ready for tomorrow. There you go. Please accept the invites. Teacher, eh, no me aparece el mensaje. Eh, let me resend it, Ricardo. Let's see. I'm going to move you to a different group. Mm, let's see, you are hit on. Okay. Can you check right now?
let's see, let's wait for everyone to return. Okay, let's see. So everyone should be back already so we can take the last screenshot, guys, before we leave. Okay, let's see. Now everyone should be back. Uh, we'll continue with this tomorrow, don't worry. Let me grab the screenshot so everyone smile to the camera once again in three, two, one. Okay, so we see the date and time. And let me take the last one. Okay, there you go. Alrighty then, thank you very much guys for making it tonight and we'll continue tomorrow. Okay, enjoy the rest of your night. Okay. See you then. See Stay you. safe. See Goodbye. you. See you. Bye. 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 Bye